The fence on Woodpecker's new auto scale miter sled doesn't pivot on a single point. It adjusts along a carefully machined spline curve that keeps the distance from any point along the fence to the saw blade constant, regardless of what angle you're cutting. To demonstrate this, I'm cutting seven different angles, all with the stop set at eight inches. Now, as I line them up against the fence, you can see that all seven of them are exactly the same length. No more guessing games, no more struggling with rulers. Just set your long point to long point measurement on the auto scale and cut your miters to perfect length. Every time, every angle. Hey, auto scale has been a fantastic product launch, but we have received some questions about it. And that's what we're going to deal with today here on Deep Dive. I want to answer questions that we've seen on social media and they've been called into our customer service office. The first one is, where's the metric version? Well, I'm happy to say, as of today, that question has got a positive answer. You can now get the auto scale in a metric version, the SKUs to order that are available on the website as of today. The next question is, will it fit my saw? All right, let me take this apart and show you how we can answer that question. If your miter bar is three quarters of an inch wide and three eighths of an inch deep, measured with any kind of a rule or scale that you have, it's very likely that the auto scale fits your saw perfectly. Now, it doesn't matter whether your saw is old or new or worn or expensive or cheap. What matters is it's close to three quarters of an inch wide. It only has to be close because on the bar, we have a series of nylon leaf springs. And those leaf springs, there's five of them here, those leaf springs push the bar against the sidewall of the slot. It's a really, really clever system and it works very, very well with slots that vary in size, slots that are straight but narrow, and slots that are straight but wide. It works with all of them. Now the next question is, what's it made of? Well, the table is made out of solid phenolic. Uh, think of Formica on your countertops. It's the same stuff, only a full half of an inch thick, and just as tough as the Formica on your countertop. This is a much better choice than either plywood uh, or MDF or any other type of sheet goods. This stuff is completely impervious to moisture, humidity, and temperature differences. Doesn't matter whether your shop is in Arizona or Florida, this is gonna be exactly the same size, dimension, and flatness all the time. Now the next question is, how do you calibrate the scale? Well, let me put the table back together and I'll show you how we do that. So to set the scale, the first thing we're gonna do is take the stop down and the stop is exactly one inch wide. So if we take the back side of that one inch wide stop and put it on the one inch mark and lock it, now if we come up to the saw blade, all we have to do is adjust this until it just kisses the teeth of the saw blade. Now we're gonna loosen these two screws over here and now the entire fence assembly can move. We're just gonna bring that up until it just barely kisses the front tooth of the saw blade, right there. When we get that set, we're gonna come back over here, tighten up those two Allen screws and we're done. Now our scale across the top is perfectly calibrated to our saw blade. Now the last question we want to answer today is how does the fence work? So it's not exactly the same as some of the other fences we have because of the way that the fence moves to maintain that perfect scale. That means the fence works a little bit differently. So let's take a look at how this goes. When you need to use the extension, the standard fence takes you out to 27 inches. If you need to go beyond that, we're gonna unlock the fence and extend it all the way out. Now, when you lock it, 
the stop is set so that it actually recalibrates itself and the scale is completely accurate, very smooth extension right on out. Now let's say we want to set that to a specific dimension. We'll set this to 39 inches. I'm going to get it close by eye and then I'll use the micro adjuster to dial it right in. Now the other part of our stop system is the little shelf. We can slide this up and I'll put this inside of my stop and now that shelf is going to support my workpiece. Now if we're doing square stock that's fine. You can have this shelf anywhere you want it, anywhere along the rail. If we're doing something that's mitered like this, we have another option, and that is to put the shelf directly underneath the stop. And now the little part of the stop that goes back inside the fence to protect the miter is effective again, even out at the full extension. Hey folks, thanks so much for watching our deep dive today on the auto scale miter sled. Hope you enjoyed the show. Hope you learned something. If you have any more questions about it, be sure and put them in the comments down below. If you'd like to see the product video on the auto scale, there's a link right there that'll take you right to it. And there's a link down below that'll take you to the ordering page on our website. Thanks so much for watching today. We'll see you next time on Woodpecker's Deep Dive.